Elder Garrett W. Gong was born in Redwood City, California. His ancestors lived in China until his grandparents moved to the United States. But his Chinese family history goes back 34 generations. That's 1,200 years. Elder Gong is the oldest of three children. His parents named him Garrett after Garrett de Yong, a close family member. His middle name, Walter, honors his father. His last name, Gong, is from his Chinese heritage. When Elder Gong was a child, his mother heard him and his brother saying they thought a sacrament meeting talk was boring. So she challenged them to come up with a better talk. They took the challenge and started paying more attention to all of the talks after that. When Elder Gong was young, he was a helpful big brother. He taught his younger brother and sister how to tie their shoes. He was a good example to his friends too. As a teenager, he loved hiking and backpacking. One day, he and a friend were hiking with another friend who wasn't a member of the church. Elder Gong and his friend started singing hymns. They ended up singing more than a dozen hymns. In high school, Garrett was a member of the chess team. At many schools, cheerleaders only cheer for football and basketball games. But Garrett asked the cheerleaders at his school to come to a chess match and silently cheer them on. And they did. After high school, Elder Gong served a full-time mission. After his mission, Elder Gong was teaching a class at the missionary training center. He noticed one missionary, Sister Susan Lindsay. He felt like he had always known her. Two years later, after her mission, they met again and started dating. They were married in the Salt Lake Temple. Now, they have four sons and three grandchildren. Elder Gong graduated from BYU. He also earned a doctorate degree from Oxford University. In his work, Elder Gong met many people all over the world. Elder and Sister Gong and their family love all of Heavenly Father's children all over the world. One special experience shows how they want everyone to feel included. It happened when the Gong family was traveling in Cambodia. They wanted to find a service project they could do while they were there. As they walked through a city, they spotted a plain cinder block wall. They thought it would be a good idea to paint the wall with bright, happy colors. And they wanted to invite the children from the city to help paint too. The Gong family bought paint and brushes and created a sketch for the wall. Lots of children came to help paint the beautiful picture together. It was such a happy experience that the Gong family did the same thing in four other countries. Elder Gong served as a bishop, as a stake president, and as a member of the 70. Then, on March 31st, 2018, he was sustained as a member of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. Sister Gong says three things that stand out about Elder Gong. He is kind, he is interested in everything, and he loves the Lord. And he loves being with members of the church in every place he goes. Our church is a worldwide church, Elder Gong said. The restored gospel is for every nation, kindred, and tongue.